Hey y'all, what's going on? This is Christian Jerry Phil, and we're back at it again with a new CBTV video. Again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Do your own thing, pause the video. Please, the more likes and subscribes that we have, the more content I'll be able to make for y'all. I have about seven hours left until I leave the airport. And just like you all, as a millennial, we tend to lag, procrastinate when it comes to packing and traveling. Today, I'm going to show y'all what is going to be in my suitcase for Coachella 2019. All right, so you've probably seen a bunch of these type of what's inside my luggage and suitcase, but I just wanted to give y'all a whole rundown of what's going to be inside. Now, there's gonna be a lot of things that you can and cannot have for Coachella. Unfortunately, I will not bring my tripod and I will not be bringing my camera as well. This is a $625 investment and I don't think I am ready to take that risk. When it comes to like traveling, like music festivals, I don't wanna necessarily bring my most important valuables unless I absolutely need them, like my phone. For guys, let's be real, I don't have a lot of you know, personal hygiene stuff, just pretty much my essentials. And I put them all inside this small little pouch. So I have like a new loofah that I've just got. Um, I'm gonna be relying a lot on my friends Sorry friends, for particular like body washes and let's just say like shampoos and conditioners because I will be flying. Just wanted to be able to add a quick edit. I totally missed a whole section of like my personal hygiene stuff. I do have a lot of personal hygiene stuff. I just didn't get to talk about it since it was like four in the morning since I've taped this, but I also brought a toothbrush as well as deodorants. And I just got like these little tra travel packs when it comes to just the toiletries. So let's resume back to the video. What's going to be right here inside uh, this zipper area, I'm gonna go through a whole rundown. For festivals, I like to keep different types of fanny packs to categorize or subcategorize all the things that I have here. So this is going to be all my, my festival essentials, things that I would originally need in an everyday basis. Right over here, I have my portable charger to make sure that I have this plugged at all times. I also have just a lot of like lip stuff. So you're gonna be going to the desert, and to be quite honest with you, it's gonna be very dry, very humid, um, and as for me, my lips are very, very sensitive. So I wanna be able to utilize as much of like lip SPF. The next thing is I do have a congestion, unfortunately. What sucks is that in the middle of Coachella, like literally I'm getting sick. I have a cold, uh, my nose is running, and I really wanna be able to bring something that will definitely clear up my sinuses. And I've gotten this thing online called Boom Boom. And what's great about it is it's more than just like a big stick, in my honest opinion. I love keeping a hand sanitizer with me wherever I go. Particularly, I love the bathroom Body Works ones, especially when it comes to like the dry heat. So I've gotten this one, which is aromatherapy, the Focus Eucalyptus and Tea Essential Oils, just the pocket back. And that's pretty much it for my festival like pouch. So what you could do is when you have two or three different pouches, um, especially for fanny packs, you could just trade the bags around and make sure that you keep your stuff organized. Like I can't guarantee that enough, especially you're gonna be hanging out with a lot of friends and you're gonna be staying with them. It can get really, really messy and it could possibly be very, very hectic, especially since you guys are all in one confined space. So next is going to be the purple bags. This purple bag over here on my end has all my accessories, like literally bracelets, necklaces, earrings, anything like that that I would have that I don't want to necessarily lose inside my luggage, I put this all in here inside my fanny pack. There's also a little hidden zipper. And what I put here, and particularly for my zippers, is my wristband. I cannot forget this. Like this is your life, especially for Coachella. I also have like different fans that I have. That I have. So um, it's gonna get really, really hot, and you know sometimes there's not a lot of wind. So I got this fan from um, one of my very good friends named Daniel. He was my secret Santa, and this is my production for the Filipino culture. And it's awesome because I have this enough fan. It's like a very limited edition type of like merchandise. So, and let's not forget this, especially it's like an airborne original and it really helps support my immune system, just taking vitamins, making sure I'm staying hydrated and making sure that I have the amount of nutrients for me to like get by through each day. I want to make sure that I'm taking care of myself as well. So here's going to be my airborne immune system just gummies just for me to chew on and snack on for the rest of the entire day. Over here are my three pairs of sunglasses. I like to keep them in a particular area and location. I have put like about an extra four pairs of socks. 
I like to keep wearing, especially for, for different types of days, I like to have a backup for everything. So if it's a backup shirt, a backup like sweater, a backup like pair of shoes, just making sure that I have stuff that are backed up. Life happens, things happen, and I've learned this from one of my greatest like supervisors is when I was going to like Coachella shopping, like she was like, why do you only have three clothes? And I was like, to be honest with you, like, I don't know. Like, I, I think I'm upset on these clothes. And she's like, what if you, you know, poop accidentally? Or what if you, you know, spills like a large like drink in front of you like or what if someone bumped into you and there was like you have like the biggest like beer stain things like that happened so i i did bring an extra pair of like clothes and an outfit as well so that i can go ahead and change just in case for emergency purposes you still want to stunt as much as possible but you also need to think about alternative solutions when it comes to fashion and music festivals because people will either get messy you know people will bump into you left and right they will probably step all over you sometimes and you have to just very be careful of like your surroundings uh, making sure that things aren't getting stolen be sure on the lookout for that i don't want to like really go into complete detail what i'm wearing i will make a separate video for that when you see a reaction video with my mom i filmed that particular video a little bit earlier so that i keep it as top secret and hidden as possible this is going to be my backup hat and i would love to show you my hats but i feel like i'm just giving a lot of things away and i don't want to do that that's really unfair i got this beautiful backpack from work shout out to my work and my job and i don't have that many things here to be honest with you i don't know if it's because i became just more minimalistic with a lot of my stuff is i have this or water bottle now I get really thirsty and everyone gets super super dehydrated for Coachella like I cannot guarantee and stress the fact that someone that you probably might not know is going to drink out of your water bottle and I've done that multiple times where I was like you have water I got this one from Walmart and it was just like $8.99 or so and this will probably get me through like let's just say five hours a day and i think as of right now i'm pretty much all set but i did want to hear from you guys like what are you guys bringing to coachella or am i missing some other things as well uh, please comment down below well this is christian jerry filming for cvtv don't forget again to like comment and subscribe i will be able to reach more of you guys especially if you go ahead and hit this like button and share catch you all soon and see you in india bye guys <laughs> yeah They won't parang. Go ahead with the day two.